Yo, what's going on, guys? Shake and bake back, and yes, today, man, we're using Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the diamond card. Yes, I was just playing some domination with T-Mag, and I was like, you know what? Let's just let's just see what we get, and we got, of course, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So I flipped on the Elgato, and we were good to go. So I'm gonna show you all the highlights and let you guys know my thoughts on him because I think he's pretty good. Obviously, he should be good. He is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and is a 97 overall, but. Yeah, you guys can see my team, my opponent's team right here. You see Kareem being guarded by the, uh, <laughs> the tiny George Hill, man. I love how the matchups, they just don't match up at all, really. And there's no way to really play a zone or anything like that or to change your matchups if they're not what you like, which is something that needs to be changed for Gauntlet. So basically, if you've, you're stuck with, you know, three centers or two centers and a point guard, you can kind of choose, hey, I want this center and this guy. I want to play a zone and collapse everybody down, or I want to try and play on the outside as close as possible. But yeah, we're going to get right into it. Kareem going into the post already, and honestly, we don't even have to post up. We could have just dunked it, but we're going to try because I want to use him, man. I really want to try out the sky hook. I want to try out his post fade and his spin move to the basket right there. We're going to pull up for the jumper nice and easy, and this is going to be too, too, too easy. That's all I can say. He's just gonna put in work. That's what he does. Right here, you can see how great of a rebounder he is. You'll see he boxes out perfectly and just absolutely destroys his defender. And he does a great job with that, which is what one of my favorite things that he just feels a lot better than other rebounders who they do an all right job boxing out, but they don't always go for the ball after. He always is going towards the ball. And right here, we're gonna throw him an alley oop, which he lays in nice and easily. Already got three out of our four points. And he's going to continue to do that right here. T-Mac with the steal. We're going to pass that down to Kareem. And he's going to slam it behind his head for the nice little Air Jordan jump man dunk right there. Absolutely nasty. Loving it. Looks beast. Oh, my goodness. Now, squaring up with my defender again. That's a pretty solid historic defender, too. As uh, I think it's George McGinnis. It was very athletic. And we're just burning him every time. We're spinning by him right there. He played a little bit too much to one side. So, hey. Spin off and go to the other side. Continuing to feed the beast that is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. We already got a lead. Right here, we tried up the skyhook. We really didn't need to. That was a terrible spot for it. But we do get our board back. I mean, it's George Hill playing on us. So, And I think it was Chris Babb that time actually down low. But he just cannot stop us. They, you don't expect them to stop Kareem. Right here, playing a little bit of point guard with Kareem. Finding T-Mag inside for the easy bucket. The find was beautiful. His passing is actually pretty solid for uh, what it is. Or maybe that's just because we're playing on the gauntlet on the blacktop. But it felt great as we throw up a lob right here to Tracy McGrady, man. Throwing it down. I love that card as well. I will have some more gameplay of the gauntlet with him. If you guys want that, let me know and just leave a like on the video, baby. Oh, my goodness. Look at the slams by Tracy McGrady. He's killing it. So, yeah, if you guys want to see some more Tracy, because I really didn't use him too much in this one. I'll have, I'll have another one, man. Oh, my goodness. I got fooled by that move. That move is too nice. That behind the back was crazy. But I did have another one right before this where I played with him. And, uh, yeah, we were just we just kept playing uh, in this mode. I've been playing it a ton. I think I've got almost 50 wins. I think I'm around there somewhere. I might have, like, 30, 40. I don't know, something like that. But we're playing nicely, trying to get all the way to those Amethyst boards at the end because those do have Clyde Drexler and I think another legend too but right here just blowing by with the speed of Kareem I think he has 78 speed I'll show you guys the full stats of this card I've already speculated on how we're going to be able to get this card and it was with those challenges that came up the other day but for now we can just use him in gauntlet and that's really the only way to officially get him and try him out but uh, I, I mean I guess you could probably try him out on one of the uh, actual teams that he's on but I don't think it's the same stats as he goes crashing to the rim again for even more points. We've now doubled up our opponent. And look at this. He's giving us some space. So let's hit the jumper. He's got a great mid-range. I think it's in the 80s. And again, knocks it down right on the line release. His release is very nice, very easily to uh, get down, I guess. But it was really nice, man. This card is crazy right here. We're just doing a whole bunch of fakes, just getting him to jump at us. Give us an A1 on the park, which really doesn't count for anything. You can pretty much foul at any time. And... Really have no consequences besides them getting the ball back, which is kind of weird. Should change that a little bit, tweak it, but we got 14 points right there. Only need a couple more to end this game. We're going to get the board right here. Let's find my man, Tracy McGrady, trying to get the alley-oops going. Oh, my goodness, man. It's a great combo having him and uh, Kareem because both have great speed, great quickness, and, of course, you know, he can rebound and he can do so many things. And, of course, he can find him for the alley-oops or he can slam it himself right there with the spin move. Now it's a one-point game. Just need to finish it off. Just need to get to 21. Pretty much just letting him shoot these terrible shots that he's been taking all game. 
That's probably the first rebound that Wilt actually missed. Not Wilt, I just called him Wilt. That Kareem actually missed right there. I guess they are both pretty good epic big men. But now we've got the ball with a chance to end the game. We're just going to find him. He's wide open. You already know he's going for the slam, but he gets blocked. Actually, a nice play right there. I think that was George McGinnis. Again, a pretty solid defender, quick and everything. But now on this last play, we're going to get him into the post. Just try and give him maybe a sky hook to end it. That would be beautiful. But instead, we're going to back him down, pull off a nice little turnaround jump shot, the fadeaway. And it goes in nice and easy. Would have been nice to end it with a sky hook because we only did one of those. But I've heard they're great. I've heard they don't miss, even though we missed one. Ours was stupid. He really shouldn't be shooting that there. But yeah, take a look at his stats. He did have a great game. If you didn't see that already, you can go back and pause it. But his stats look nice. Great mid range, excellent inside. Great with layups, dunks, and uh, anything that comes to rebounding, defense inside. This card is deservedly one of the best big men in the game at a 97 overall, and it will be for the entire year, which is nice. So whenever he comes out, this is the card you got to get, and it is a reward card, which is cool because that way you don't just get him from pulling packs, but you'll be able to get him from playing the game and doing the challenges more than likely. So yeah, that is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and he's got 38 badges, 27. The other ones are mental badges. I'll, I'll check them out right here for you guys, but... I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I want to see some more Gauntlet gameplay. That was Kareem going ham, just taking over. But uh, yeah, we can upload some more. I've played tons of Gauntlet. I have tons of it recorded. So if you want to see more, then uh, let me know, and I'll be sure to post it. Let me know your thoughts, though. Peace.